Hello, uh, this is a quick introduction to the simple printer. Um, as you can see, I already have a projection up of the printer, and it is uh, connected uh, to a pipeline where the printer can be fed components. We have a welder put in this specific position to be able to get everything in its weld radius. Um, so from this point, all you have to do is toggle on the initial welder. Once the unit has been built, we simply turn off the the initial welder, and of course there will be a group for auto welder that we toggle off, so all the welders are off. And then we can go to the projector itself, and we're going to toggle that off as well, so that we, you know, the, we don't get any projection issues. So. At this point, you'd remove all the items tagged in the color red. Um, you'll be getting a fair amount of parts back, and these parts will be useful in um, finalizing the build here. Okay. The parts there um, will allow you to then build the welders at the tips of the pistons. And this printer is designed to build small ships, or small grid ships, I should say. So we're basically going to remove this rotor here and replace it with a a small grid rotor and we just go into the rotor here and add small head at which point um, you're just going to add a small projector and then um, in a simple arrangement you can just stack a couple light armor blocks on the end of it uh, if you're so inclined, you can obviously build your designs with like a merge block on it, and you can have a merge block on the end of this, so you don't have to do any grinding at the end of the of of when you've produced something out of the printer. But for these purposes, we're just going to um, use uh, simple light armor blocks. All right, so this is the small projector <clears throat> and at this point we just load in um, a small grid ship that's going to fit within the boundaries uh, let's just do this atmo in a s interceptor the grid is so big that's hard to see where that is um, Normally on an initial uh, starter base, it's you know, grid's much smaller, so you can get closer up on a 3D view here. Might actually help if... You might be able to see it a little bit better from here. Okay. So I'm going to set up a small projector. And I'm doing it on three and four because I have the large projector on one and two. Okay. Now it seems to be in fairly good alignment.
Up one back two. Right, okay, so we have another scenario here where Yeah, it's gonna have to go forward. It's all lined up, I'm just gonna need a few more small. You obviously want it in a uh, build section where all the welders are going to hit it. So that should be perfect. And I'm just going to add some blocks to make up the difference. Okay. At this point, and set up some controls here. There's already a group for pistons, so I like to do a reverse and an on-off, so you can pretty much control which direction it's going, as well as um, whether it's stopped or moving. Okay, apparently there's a lot of welders. So, for convenience sake, I'm just going to turn them into a group. I didn't realize... Oh, well, actually, yeah. These ones miscolored there, so they're... The print welders. And we... Okay, so just flip those on, and they will build that segment, and then you can just and bring them back, and in a survival scenario. Um, you're most likely going to have maybe you might need to make a couple passes over it because uh, some of the blocks weld slow. Um, you're obviously going to want to check your projector itself, the small projector, and it'll give you a readout of the blocks required that are left over. So if this is empty here, that means you're pretty much done your weld. And at that point, You can come in here, um, you might want to set the batteries on it to charge up to, so you have enough fuel, it might have enough fuel depending on the build, um, and then you just sever it from the armature here and fly it away. Okay. Well, I hope this uh, becomes useful to you, um, and thank you very much.